Good evening, everyone. Bienvenidos todos this blessed Wednesday evening. Uh, I made a video this morning, kind of in a short rush, and I don't like that. I really like to uh, take my time and study the Word. But because this morning I felt the Holy Spirit telling me this needs to happen, this needs to come to pass, and so I did the video, and I also did it as as I stated in the video. It's notes for myself. Uh, and this video will be part two. I'll base it out of Isaiah 52, verse 12. Then I'll take it from there. Uh, there's so much going on. It's, it's overwhelming to many people. Um... If, if it's trials, if it's tests, if it's pain, if it's, uh, there, there's so much out there. But more so, I feel that it's what's going around us, around, I guess, around the world is what I'm trying to say. And Jesus makes it very clear. Do, do not worry. This needs to happen. This needs to come to pass. So this is why I'm making it because we shouldn't worry. Plus, I'm going to break it down of why Jesus states one certain thing. And I've always struggled with that. Always struggled until recently I understood. I understood why Jesus said that. And this... This right here, what I'm going to share, goes perfect. Perfect of why Jesus used that um, parable or example. Um, so I begin, like always, all glory to Abba Father. In the name of his son Jesus, I will share the spoken written word of our God. And again, Isaiah 52, 12 states... For you shall not go with haste. Haste. I had to just write these words down so I can put it, try to place these words in your all's mind. When Abba Father, the word of God says, For you shall not go out with haste. In a hurry. Quickly, in a rush. And this morning I did that video in a rush, but that's not what Jesus means, or Abba Father means here. What he means, for you shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight, is let's not go quickly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is happening. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Oh, that's what he means. Don't, don't rush into making a decision that that needs to be calmly thought of seek it in the word of god what do i do in this situation so he's he's saying do do not go in haste don't do it in a hurry don't do it quickly don't don't rush into into a a situation if you've not thought it out so Abba Father says, For you shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. Meaning, don't run from it either. You know what? Forget about it. I'm, 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 I'm going to run from it. No. Do not go by flight. For the Lord will go before you. Uh, in my video earlier, uh, in, in the first time that I read this, I said, Lord Abba Father. But no. For the Lord will go before you and the God of Israel will be your reward. Lord Jesus always goes before us. It's the spoken written word. Abba Father sent his only begotten son to, he, he's the first fruit. He's the alpha. He's the first. This is where we have to understand who Lord Jesus is. So Lord Jesus goes before us 
And because Lord Jesus goes before us, we follow Lord Jesus, our reward is Abba Father. And it's the protection. It is the kept promises, the sealed spoken word of our God for us. It's the reward. But we, we, we hastily, oh my gosh, do not think that I don't do that. I do that too. I quick, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Because this happened. Uh, ask any of my close friends, my sisters. I, I, I start sobbing. And then quickly, Lord Father, baby, uh-uh, baby girl, you calm down. Heed the word, heed my word. How am I going to help all of you if I don't, if I don't practice it? I have to teach, I have to be taught. So I can put it in place in my life for anyone that sees my life. Anyone that's in my life, loves. So from here, from Isaiah, I hope that I am making sense. I wish whomever watches this video, I know that YouTube is doing updates. Uh, still, the comments will come later if I don't see them right away. Um, they'll come, loves. Uh, again, if you have any questions, just comment below, loves. Uh, we need to learn together. Um, the first one that I'll break down out of Isaiah 52 to, to make understand why Jesus says this, this needs to happen. But don't worry. Lord Jesus tells us, do not worry. So we have to heed the spoken written word loves. We have to seek the kingdom first. And Lord Jesus advises us. Do not worry. So I start with Matthew 24, verse 4. And Jesus answered to them, to all of them. And if it says to them, he's talking to us as well. He says, take heed. Take notice, loves, that no one deceives you. No one. No one loves, meaning no government, no ruler, no king, no human, sorry, no pastor, no priest, no pope, no one. It states here, Jesus says, take heed that no one deceives you. He didn't say a certain someone. He said no one to deceive us. For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will deceive many. Many will be deceived. Lord Jesus is stating here. Many will be deceived. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. I have a video. I know I've done that this section before. And it's titled, Do Not Worry. I, I might add it also in the description box if anyone wants to go in. Because that one's more in detail regarding this scripture. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. Lord Jesus is stating it. Loves, see that you are not troubled. Do not worry. For all these things must come to pass. Loves, that's key. Take it in. Write it in your heart. Keep it here in your mind. When Anyone out here is telling you that something, oh my gosh, this is going to happen. And that, uh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus is telling us, take heed. Take heed. Do not worry. These things need to pass. But the end is not yet. That's key, loves. The end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. Nation is a person. So people will rise against people. Kingdom is um, country against country. And there will be famines, pestilence, earthquakes, and in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. 
They're the beginning of troubles, loves. But Lord Jesus tells us, heed that no one deceives you. This has to happen. This needs to come. But let no one deceive you, loves. Lord Jesus says, all these things must come, but the end is not yet. That's the part that Lord Jesus is telling us. Do not be deceived. Us as believers, loves, let the others be deceived. But we as Christ Jesus followers, we're not going to be deceived because we know. But share, share the word, loves. Let people know what the spoken written word states. So from there out, because I read verses 4 to 6, 4 through 6. Now I'm jumping down to verse 12. And it says, and because lawlessness will abound. We see it, love. Because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Let's not be a part of this lawlessness, loves. We have to obey the spoken written word of our God. And it states to obey. But don't do as they do. That's, that's a key, love. We obey the law but don't do as they do and what is it that these people do they break the law loves don't do it the it it, it states clear and because lawlessness lawlessness will abound the love of many will grow cold let's not be a part of this lawlessness that's going to abound to where it'll cause our beloved brothers and sisters to grow cold loves let's not be a part of that Heed the word. Let's not be deceived. I continue, verse 13. But he, he loves, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. That's a kept promise, loves. That's key. I continue. And this gospel, this is what I was trying to state this morning. The reason why Jesus is foretelling us, don't worry, these things have to pass. I'm leaving you something to do. Don't worry. Abba Father has this covered. That's Isaiah 52 verse 12. I go before you. Jesus says, I go before you. Abba Father is our rear guard. He's the reward. Abba Father is making sure. You keep going, keep going, keep enduring. I've got your back. He's our reward. He's our rear guard. Abba Father is. Lord Jesus is the Alpha. He's the beginning. He's the front. Abba Father is right behind us. So it says, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations, to all people. And then the end will come. Lord Jesus is stating here, Heed the word. Heed. Do not worry. Do not be troubled. These things have to pass. They have to pass, loves. It has to. But Lord Jesus says, don't be troubled. Don't worry. Do something. Share the gospel of the kingdom. Preach it to all the world as witnesses, loves, to all nations, to all people. And then the end will come. There's way too many people because up in the, uh, in the few verses that I just shared, there's lawlessness. People have grown cold. Hey, we need, so Lord Jesus, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what's happening out there. There's too many that grew cold. Let's share the gospel of the kingdom. Let's continue. That's the spoken written word, loves. This is why it's, it's being said. Jesus says, do not worry. So from here, I'm going to go to Luke 21. Uh, Luke 21 uh, states it a little different, but it's still, it's the written word. It, it's, it's, it's that iron pen that was written down by the prophets, by the disciples of Lord Jesus. But Luke was a follower of Paul. He was the doctor, the physician of Paul. And... Um, this is what he wrote. He wrote what Jesus stated. And he said, take heed 
that you not be deceived. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he. And the time has drawn near. Therefore, do not go after them. But when you hear of wars and commotions, Luke writes commotions, do not be terrified. He's stating it here. The Lord Jesus says, do not be terrified, for these things must come to pass first, but the end will not come immediately. Loves. We, we need to understand what this means. I'm sure that the, the Luke was, was there while Peter, uh, James, uh, all these other apostles, Bartholomew was there, John was there, all these apostles were there. So Luke was taking notes what Lord Jesus stated. So here he wrote that Lord Jesus says, Take heed that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he. And the time has drawn near. Therefore, do not go after them. Don't go after them. For whomever is saying, I am he. But when you hear of these wars and commotions, loves, that's what we're hearing out in the news. I, this is why I do not listen to the news. We start listening to the news. It overwhelms our mind. It starts putting worry in our mind. We start stressing. We're, anxiety starts falling upon us, loves. And here we go. We forget about the written word. Where Jesus says, do not worry. I go before you. Lord God is your reward. He protects us. He has angels watching over us. So while we're studying the word of God, while we're sharing the word of God, let's not worry about what's going around us. What is happening? It has to happen. This is where, keep this in mind, loves. These things must happen. He doesn't want us to worry. I'm going to share something that brought light to all of this. Of why, oh, I'm not going to worry about what the news is saying. I'm not going to worry about what uh, this person is stating that this was said by the government or what. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to study. Yes, I go on with my life, but I'm not going to worry what, what's going out here in this world. I can't, I can't afford it to overwhelm me. I cannot. It'll overwhelm me. It'll put anxiety. I'm going to, um, you know what? Abba Father states he's got it covered. I'm not going to worry about it. I continue. <laughs> I'm sorry, my battery is running low, loves. Uh, so I'm hoping that it doesn't die. You know what? Let me go get it. Uh, please forgive me. I'm going to go get the plug. Forgive me, loves. Uh, I forgot that I hadn't plugged it in. Okay. Um, so that was verse from Luke, verse 8 and 9. So now I'm going to read verses 10 through 18. And it states, Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, people against people, kingdom against kingdom, country against, against country. And there will be great earthquakes in various places, famines and pestilence, and there will be fearful sights. Luke writes it a little bit more detail, but we have to remember from Matthew to Luke, Luke was a little bit more educated than, than Matthew. Matthew, well, I'm sharing this love so you can understand why there's a big difference in writing. Matthew was a tax collector, but Luke 
had more education because he was a physician, a doctor. So Luke writes more detailed. So he says, and there will be great earthquakes in various places and famines and pestilence, and there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you. We see it now, loves. Delivering you up to the synagogues, synagogues and prisons. The government, the police. We can go on to try to bring it to today. You will be brought before kings and rulers, judges, for my name's sake. But it will turn out for you. Loves, take this to heed. It will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. In other words, when we're, when we're being persecuted, love, being uh, brought to judges, you know what? We know. We're, because we're, we're in the word, we seek the spoken written word. It's the word of God states, you will be brought before kings and rulers, but if, you, but it will turn out for you. In other words, it'll be on our favor, loves. It will be on our favor for, for as an occasion for testimony. Therefore, settle it in your hearts here and here, not to meditate beforehand on what you will answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries, the, the enemies, will not be able to contradict or resist. Loves the spoken written word, our Lord Jesus. This is Kila's. Therefore, settle it in your hearts. Do not worry. Do not be troubled. Loves. Do not settle it in your hearts to meditate beforehand on what you will answer. For I, and this is the Holy Spirit, will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries enemies will not be able to contradict or resist and loves we've seen it when many many unbelievers come up against us and we we share the the word this is what we're we're um putting in defense the spoken written word they don't have anything to to contradict you can't contradict the word of God, loves. No matter how hard they think that they've won, loves. The spoken written word and the wisdom which all your enemies will not be, they just won't, will not be able to contradict or resist. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends. And we see that, loves, already. And they will put some of you to death. We see that already, but it, we still do not worry. And you will be hated by all my, by all for my name's sake, for Lord Jesus's. But you, not a hair of your head shall be lost. When they put us to death, pay attention, loves them. Some of us will be put to death. But you know what? Lord Jesus is giving us his word. Do not worry. Not a hair on our heads shall be lost. By your patience possesses your soul. We endure. We, we take heed. We, we, we stay calm. Don't worry. Why? Isaiah 52 12 Lord Jesus goes before us and Abba Father has our back because we are patient and we endure our souls will not be lost loves I, I go further this will be Isaiah 20 28 well, forgive me Matthew 28 
This is where the key is, loves, of why we're not going to be worried of what's happening. And, and it, it has to happen. I moved it. Why we don't worry of what's happening around us. Let, let the world do what it wants to do. And it's not giving it to me. Why? Forgive me, loves. I'm trying to get to Matthew 28. If Jesus is telling us, do not wor worry. Seek the kingdom first. There's, there's something, there's a reason why he's telling us, do not worry. Psalms 91, I stated it in the video that I did earlier this morning. Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, we put our trust in Abba, Father loves, then we're covered under grace. So he's telling us, do not worry. Abba Father has us covered. No matter what, I mean, chaos is all around us, as Psalms 91 says. But we do not worry. We are protected as believers. We're, we're, we're grafted into that, that amazing cedar tree. Loves, that's Abba Father. So Jesus says, this is why we don't worry. And Jesus came and spoke to them, to them, to all of us, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore. This is what he's ordering us. He's given authority. Heaven and on earth. So every being in, in heaven and on earth, Jesus has authority of it. So he's telling everyone has been given to him. So therefore go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy Spirit. It is a name given to Lord Jesus that represents his father. So that name we're baptizing. We're baptizing it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But it was given to one, and that's Abba, Father, Son. That's the authority. This is what we need to be doing. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. This is why Lord Jesus says, don't you worry. I've got it covered. Don't worry. Isaiah 12. For you shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your reward. So Lord Jesus is telling us here, don't worry anymore, loves. I need you to do something. Too many have grown cold. I need you not to worry of what's happening around. That's Satan putting this anxiety on people. These worries on people. It's Satan. Hey, pay attention. L look at what's happening around you. Ooh, look at what's going. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to study the word of God. I had to stay focused in the word because if I start focusing what's out there, anxiety will start happening in my life. Then I start putting anxiety, fear into my family because they see me. Hey, hey how come mom's worried? Hey, maybe we should be worried. Mom, mm -mm. Lord Jesus said, don't worry. I'm, I'm staying by my, my Lord. Because he knows already what's, what's going to happen. He knows it. So Lord Jesus wants us to stay calm, loves. He wants us not to worry. 
He's telling us to do one thing, teaching them to observe all. Meaning we, how do we tell our brothers and sisters to observe all things that Lord Jesus has commanded us right here? We have to study the word so we'll know what to share with everyone out here, loves. It's the only way. This is why Lord Jesus says, don't worry. This is why all authority was given to Lord Jesus in heaven and on earth. All authority, loves. So therefore, make disciples of all people. It says nations, but it's people. Baptizing them in that one name that was given authority in heaven and on earth. And that's Jesus. That's Yahshua, our Lord. And Lord Jesus represents, that name represents his father, and represents the glory of his Father, the Holy Spirit. That's all glory to you, Lord Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus. That is why it states in the Word of God, I'll baptize everyone in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because Lord Jesus' name represents, is, is the representation of his Father. He, the word loves this this one last section that I am going to share. And if I get emotional and again, loves, I forgot the Kleenexes. I bought some, but I forgot. If I get emotional, forgive me. But this is such a key of why Lord Jesus, and I'm telling you, as a young woman, as a young teenager. I would always say, what does that mean? I never understood it to, to all this chaos that has been happening around us. I understood it. I understood, hey, don't worry. Lord Jesus says, don't worry. All this needs to pass. Then he brought this verse into my spirit to remember. And this is the way I heard it, baby. Remember, you always had that question on this verse. This is what this means. Okay. If Lord Jesus is telling us, do not worry. All this needs to pass. I need you not to worry. Abba Father has us pr protected. I go before you. Abba Father is our reward. He's our rear guard. So we're covered. He wants us to share the kingdom. The spoken written word to all people. Loves. So... How can we do that and not worry when all this chaos is before us? Well, this is what Lord Jesus says. This is what brought to light. And I thank you, Abba, Father, in the name of your son, Jesus. And it's found Matthew chapter 18. Ver, uh, chapter 18, and I'll start at verse 2 up to 5. And it's, uh, Jesus states this. Then Jesus called a little child to him. Set him in the midst of them. Bring him here, children, he said. Uh, surely, Jesus says, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as a little child, or as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. I'm going to stop right there. That's verse 3. Jesus says, Assuredly, I say, truly, I tell you, unless you are converted, become or humble yourself as a child, as little children, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Meaning, we are not able to bring that power down into our lives if we do not become as little children. Well, I, I used to say this, how do I become little again to enter into this kingdom? No, loves. Lord Jesus is teaching us, don't worry. I go before you. Abba, Father's your rear guard. He's your reward. He's behind you. Study the word. Share the kingdom to all nations and to all kingdoms, to all people, to all countries. Yes, loves. 
a little child, if you are a parent and you are in charge of your child and you say, baby, go play, go play or go study. Mommy and daddy are going to work. We're going to pay the bills. We're going to do this. A child is not going to worry about bills. A child's not going to worry about a storm that's out there. If there's a storm, they're not going to worry about war that's happening out there. They're not going to worry about earthquakes or earthquakes or famines or nothing. They're, a child will not worry because they have their parents. And I know there's questions that are going to come up here. But this is the example that Abba Father is giving us through his son for us as adults loves. As adults, do not worry until you humble yourselves as a, a little child. You cannot enter into this kingdom. You cannot enter into this wisdom of, of, of our Abba Father. We don't worry. You know what? I don't care what's happening out there. I understand that's happening out there. I know. I hear it. There are rumors. Abba Father has this. So Matthew 18, then Jesus called a little child to him, set him in the midst of them and said, surely I say to you, unless you are converted, humbled and become as little children, you will by no means enter into the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, loves. Whoever receives one little child like this in my name receives him, receives me, receives Lord Jesus. Until we comprehend to humble ourselves as a child, that, that kingdom, that heavenly kingdom, protection, provision, kept promises, loves cannot fall upon our lives because we are too busy, worried, anxious, rushing, running away, hiding, and not humbling ourselves. I'm going to continue to study the word and share it to all nations, to all people that Abba Father brings to me. Because Abba Father says, until, until I humble myself as a child, meaning I trust in my Abba Father. I trust in my parent, my only parent, my Abba Father God. That's what that saying loves. I'm not going to worry. Do I cry? Yes. Do, until I, the Holy Spring, the Holy Spirit brings it back to my memory, baby. Uh-uh, don't do that. Then I come back and, and, and I'm, I make my videos. I'm sharing. Because this is the way, the only way that I can do it. I share it out here as well. But to reach the multitude, this is the way I'm doing it. I also share them on Facebook. Even if I don't get as many views as others, I am humbling myself and letting you all know that Lord Jesus says, do not worry. As humbly as a child does not worry because his mother and father has that baby covered. That's what that means, loves. Heed the word and forgive me that the, the phone is moving. Uh, I have it uh, up on top. Again, uh, this and it's this is a very lengthy video, but it I hope that you all take a listen because there's so much going out there and loves we're forgetting. Seek the kingdom first and and his righteousness, and all will be given unto us. Loves, that's protection as well. 
So until we humble ourselves, or surely Jesus says, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as a little as little children, you will by no means enter into the kingdom of heaven. But it doesn't mean that you like you die and go to heaven. No. Enter into that kingdom like Lord Jesus when he was here. He brought that kingdom of heaven down. It's why he was able to cast out demons, heal, uh, manifest uh, food. It, that's what it means. Enter into that kingdom and we bring it here. Because this uh, that that kingdom of heaven is an um, invisible realm that was is able to be brought into this visible realm, loves. Again, heed the spoken written word, loves, and do not worry. Isaiah 52, verse 12. For you shall not go out in haste. Don't go, don't go be rushed and quickly worry and have this anxiety. Don't, don't run away from this fear that people uh, are putting in your lives. For the Lord, Lord Jesus will go before you. And the God of Israel is your reward. He's our protector, loves. Again, all glory to Abba, Father, in the name of his son, Jesus. I share the spoken written word, loves. It's amazing what the Holy Spirit brings to life in our lives, loves. And this peace comes over it and we don't worry but loves we have to stay in the word of our God that's the key loves I, I too I know I, I have a busy busy life I have my babies they, they don't live here because I did move to Florida they're not but they still call me they still need help they still need advice but I have to for them, for my loves, for my babies, for my grandbabies especially, I stay in the word because I want that. I want that entrance into the kingdom of heaven, loves. And I want it for all of you as well. It's why I'm saying don't worry anymore, loves. Let it all come to pass. It has to. It has to, loves. But Lord Jesus has it covered. Since he goes before us, and he goes with an army. You know, God, Lord Abba, Father, is our rear guard. What is a rear guard? It's a part of a military force that protects it from attack. That it, it, It's a protection that protects us from attack from the rear. Either... Um, in advance or with withdrawal, it, either they'll they'll come rushing from behind and protect us, or with a uh, withdrawal, like um, like say I'm running back. Well, they're see this is why it, God is our rear guard. We're we're going to fall behind the line and let Abba Father, Lord Jesus, come before us. And I hope that I'm I'm stating steady rear guard. The protection of what that means in military form, loves. Lord Jesus is in front. Abba Father is behind. Psalms 91, the protection. The angel is, I mean, Abba Father. That's why it says under his wing, because of the angels. We're protected. Let, let what we see happen in our country, let it happen. Lord Jesus says, don't you worry. It has to happen, loves. Let it pass. The end is not yet, loves. Not yet. Again, let's humble ourselves as little children. As surely, Jesus says, until then, we're not able to enter into the kingdom of heaven. I share the word, loves. All glory to you, Lord Father. In the name of your son, Jesus, let your Children, your people, your be the believing souls, Father, heed your spoken written word for them to study it on their own, Lord. And in the name of your son, Jesus, Father, 
That's where we seek the kingdom first and his righteousness. And that's through your son, Lord Jesus, Father. And I thank everyone that takes the time. If you have to hear it in parts, hear it in parts. But hear the whole video. Allow the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to reach all of you, loves. Blessings, everyone. Gracias todos.